Good morning, students. So we are going to start the new poem, A Thing of Beauty. A Thing of Beauty is a joyful ever by John Keats. Okay, John Keats is one of the famous poet of the second generation of the Romantic poets, along with Lord Byron and all. Fine, and he was romantic poet. So. Basically, in this poem, a thing of beauty is a joy for ever. A thing of beauty is a joy for ever. This poem is an extract taken out from Endymion. Okay, Endymion is a long poem. Okay, and in this poem, he has mentioned the real source of joy, constant, constant source of joy. And this poem is written in what? A uh, rhyming couplet in iambic pentameter. And the pentameter is or heroic couplets. Rhyming uh, couplets means A A B B. Fine. So as you know, suppose in case dear, then dear. So pronunciation matters. Okay. So we call it we call it rhyming scheme. Fine. So in this poem, a thing of beauty is a joy for ever. Actually, I would like to make you understand it. What is the thing of beauty? So, please just just think over this fact. Do you believe that you? What do you mean? Your car is beautiful. Please tell me the name. Car. Suppose in case you love you love your car very much. Do you think that it is beautiful? Then think for any other thing. Suppose in case you think your mobile. Is beautiful. Your mobile is beautiful. Maybe, maybe a mobile is giving you what joy. Suppose in this. Okay, I do agree. Your car is beautiful. Your mobile is beautiful. Suppose in case your you can say whatever game you play that is beautiful. I do agree. That is beautiful. Car, mobile, some of the students uh, like pizza. Why? Pizza was there, so some of the students like pizza. So pizza is good for maybe pizza is good for. Suppose in case you have some charm for someone, you have some attraction for someone, or he or she is good for maybe someone is good for. We can say, but according to the poet, according to the poet, if Pizza. If pizza gives you forever joy, then this, then this thing can be can be considered into thing of beauty. Means what? Poet John Keats says that whatever poet John Keats says that whatever thing is beautiful, that should remain with us forever, forever. Means thing of beauty should give us constant joy. It never fades away. It never dies. Fine. So. Suppose in case you like pizza, but a day would come that when pizza pizza would not be a attraction for you. Pizza would not what uh, fascinates you. Suppose in case your car, your car, you will purchase car, new car. It happens that when we get bored, when we get bored with a thing, then we will purchase the new one. Okay, mobile students, uh, please ask your grandparents. What they were using, what what were they using at that time in their I mean uh, olden times? They don't have mobile, but today everyone has mobile. And what everyone is using mobile, but but what we think that whenever any new mobile is there in the market, we grab, we would like to grab it. Then game, you are not able to play game forever, forever. So it's beautiful. I would like to narrate a story over here. Actually, this poem is to uh, this poem. We all are means what that we can understand in that way only. That when we understand the concept of the thing of beauty means what thing, what which thing is thing of beauty, which never fades away. Okay. Constant source of joy. Constant joy means it could never die. And permanent source of 
joy it would heal us if a thing is beautiful then it will heal us but mobile will never heal you mobile will what that take away your sleep car will never heal you okay so please realize what is the beautiful thing what is a thing means a thing of beauty should be as a joy for ever a thing of beauty is a joy for ever are you getting my point a thing of beauty is a joy for ever it means that whatever the thing you like whatever the thing you like so whatever but that should remain with you forever forever even we human beings are not beautiful why because we would not survive in this world forever forever okay our nature is not permanent okay our nature is temporary so a thing of beauty is a joy forever so we have one question in our mind that what is a permanent thing in this world so i would like to narrate a story over here do you know gautam bud his name was siddharth okay siddharth his uh, childhood name was siddharth and uh, his father has designed palace for him his father never allowed him to go out why because because a prince told it was a story it is a story that a prince told that he would be a he would be a famous saint or he would go in the uh, on the path of salvation he would go on the path of salvation moksh so his father shuddhan design vadhas father shuddhan design means earlier his name was siddharth siddharth gautam so his father designed kingdom for him palace for him and uh, he has designed what he made all the all the you can say basic amenities for him in that palace and he has accordingly arranged seasons and all so that siddharth would not go out and would and would not would not be attracted with the society or the environment then he got married okay and and he got married and his wife name was yashodra once what happened a incident happened in his life then he got siddharth gautam got a chance to go out a chance to go out and suddenly what happened then he observed three things what a dead body a very weak old man a very weak old man dead body okay so what happened over there then he means uh, asks yashodra what is it then yashodra explained that it is the reality of the life that it is the reality of the life then he asks he again asks he again asks to yashodra he again asks yashodra same thing would happen to you also tumhare sath mein bhi aisa hoga then yashodra replied yes every man every man would go on the uh, with the same phase means this is a cycle childhood infant uh, as you, as you, uh, you all know there is a poem by william shakespeare the seven ages of man okay infant then childhood then school boy then young young man then mature old man very old man and that so it is a life cycle so buddha means siddharth came to understand at that age okay okay what that every man would die from this world and it is the it is the bitter part of the life so he has understand uh, he has got the point yes he has understood what that his wife yashodra no yashodra would be would would die and she would become very weak and all then he understood means until that age he had he was in the palace so he was not getting the opportunity to see the real fact or real part of the life but when he when he had seen what that body a corpse see what he is a corpse means that body then he has understood the bitter part of the life and he left the palace and then he finally met the you can say salvation okay so in this poem also we have to understood that part of the thing what
This poem, a thing of beauty. To make you understand this poem, a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty by John Keats. John Keats written died at the very early age, age at the age of twenty five. At the age of twenty five, due to pain. Okay, tuberculosis. So, a thing of beauty. Actually, the poem is like this. Way. John Keats. John Keats imagines himself here a shepherd. Imagines here a shepherd. Fine. John Keats imagines himself a shepherd. That's why a poet and shepherd. Do you know this thing? Suppose in case if I am saying a the principal and and teacher. So what you will use over here? The principal and teacher is coming or are coming? Is coming. Why? Because when one article is there in the sentence, okay, I'm joining two nouns, okay. So we have to take it as singular. Getting my point? One article is used. Two nouns के पहले तो हमें ये means we have to use helping verb as a helping verb or main verb as a singular. Why? Because this is one person. But the principal and teacher is coming. But when I am saying when I am saying the principal and a teacher are coming, but when we are using, but when we are using two articles, two articles with two nouns. So what is it? We have to use what? We have to use plural. Helping plural verb, okay? But the helping verb or main verb. So same thing has happened in this poem that poet John Keats. Poet John Keats has taken himself as a shepherd. Poet John John Keats imagines himself shepherd. And to make you understand what is the thing of beauty means your car is not beautiful, then your mobile is not beautiful means to make you understand that this worldly things. Worldly things are not means uh, you all are running in this greedy race of this world. We are running after money. We are running after something. But real joy doesn't lie in that thing. Means real joy lies some lies in somewhere. And what is it? We have to understand in this poem. Means constant real joy is what when we get peace. When we get peace, peace with something. Suppose in case. If you are in uh, depression and if you are not getting peace with your mobile, peace with your car, peace with whatever the environment, so that thing is not beautiful. Why? Because a thing of beauty is a joy forever. It should give. It should give you permanent joy. It should give you what? It should give you constant source of joy, happiness, peace. So let us start the poem. Shepherd. John Keats has considered himself shepherd. What? Imagine himself shepherd. So one day what happened? That John Keats was sitting on a mountain. Means shepherd. Shepherd was sitting on a mountain. This poem was taken from. Think of beauty is taken from Endymion. Okay. Endymion is a poetic romance. Endymion is a poetic romance. So shepherd was sitting on a mountain, and he. Uh, was just enjoying, relaxing under a, relaxing under a tree. Okay, and here and his what sheep, sheep and goats were grazing. Okay, suddenly what happened? And he slept over there. John K. Uh, and the shepherd slept over there. And suddenly what happened? Moon goddess. Earlier name Selene, but in this poem Cynthia. Okay, her name was Selene, but in this poem Cynthia renames. ठीक है पहले नाम सिंथिया था बाद में इस पोएम में इसके नेम इसका नाम क्या किया गया है सिंथिया दिस पोएम थिंग ऑफ ब्यूटी वाज पब्लिश्ड इन 1880 सो शेफर्ड वाज जस्ट रिलैक्सिंग एंड सडनली व्हाट व्हाट हैपन मून गॉडेस मून गॉडेस केम इनटू एक्जिस्टेंस सिंथिया केम इनटू एक्जिस्टेंस एंड ही वाज अट्रैक्टेड फैसिनेटेड विद सिंथिया ओके शी वाज सो ब्यूटीफुल एंड ही वाज अट्रैक्टेड विद ही वाज अट्रैक्टेड फैसिनेटेड and then what happened moon goddess 
spent some of the time and then she left then she left now shepherd john cates john cates was mad after her and he searched her everywhere so this poem means we are uh, reading only four extract of antigone we are reading only four extract of antigone हम से पढ़ते हैं दीपन का रियली दिस पोएम इज अ वेरी यू कैन से इपिक बहुत बड़ी पोएम है सो जो सर्चिंग सिंथिया एंड वो सर्चिंग सर्चिंग हर एवरी वियर ओके ही क्रॉस मैनी माउंटेन्स ही क्रॉस दिस पोएम इज फुल ऑफ एग्जग्रेशन हाइपर बनी वैन दियर इज एग्जग्रेशन सो वी कॉल इट हाइपर बनी इन पॉइटिक डिवाइस फाइन सो Hyperbole means suppose in case if I say you uh, if I say that I'll get you stars for you, मैं तुम्हारे लिए तारे तोड़ लाऊँ. So it is poetic devices. It is poetic devices. Which kind of the poetic devices used over here? Hyperbole. Don't pronounce hyperbole. It is hyperbole. H y p r e b o l e. Fine. So shepherd was searching her everywhere. Shepherd has crossed many mountains under the sea. and he has seen beautiful you can say uh, under the under the sea he has seen beautiful stones okay pearls and then he has crossed many mines he has seen beautiful uh, beautiful diamond and all so he has met wonderful things of the world he has seen beautiful flowers flowers trees everywhere then finally he has returned to that mount mountain and that mountain was mount lemos that mountain was mount lemos and finally he has written to mount lemos and then he realized what he realized that why uh, it it is very absurd to run after cynthia why because cynthia would die one day because cynthia would die one day and cynthia would not give her permanent source of joy real beauty lies in this world What is it? The sun. Sun has been giving us life since creation. What is beautiful rivers? He has seen beautiful rivers. Rivers why? Because rivers make cooling cover. Okay. So what is beautiful trees? Forever give us what fulfills all our basic needs of life. So real beauty lies in nature. Real beauty lies in nature. According to Poyer, why? Because nature heals you. Nature is the best healer. Why? Because nature will nature will transform your body. Nature will what? Re-energize you. Suppose uh, suppose in case if you are not feeling uh, what well, then just sit. Then just sit on a mountain. Just just sit in the lap of nature in a ground in a somewhere in the garden. You will relax. It will soothe your body. So permanent source of what is the thing of beauty which gives us a joy forever. Okay, but but this materialistic world will not give you permanent source of joy. Will not give you will not give you forever joy. Which thing which thing will give you permanent joy? That is nature, according to John Cage. Nature. And then finally, in the last stanza, we will come to know that in this poem, that with nature, one more thing is beautiful. What? Your action. Ah, uh, can you tell me what is the name of uh, your great great grandfather? No, you are not able to speak. Why? Because because in this world, in this world, what is remembered? Only your action. Only your deed. Mahatma Gandhi is remembered. Why? Still in this world, and the next generation, next post, post, posterity will remember him. Why? Just because of your of your action. We have many, we have ma many warriors in our world. Okay, in our India, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Bhagat Singh. Okay, and Kalpa Chawla. So why you all are? Why? Uh, why are you all reading? Reading. About them, why? Because they have they have done something great in their life. So, what is the permanent source of joy? Nature. Why? Because it will remain forever, forever. Himalayas are still in this world. Okay, Mount Everest, Ganga. Okay, so Bible, beautiful books, beautiful environment. 
it will give you permanent joy it will never fade it will never die so according to poet what is the beautiful thing that never fades away that gives you constant source of joy okay and and according to poet this materialistic world this materialistic world will not give you permanent source of joy because these things will will go from this world materialistic thing will go from this world or will become dull and drab fine so this is the main idea of the poem which poem a thing of beauty is a joy for ever okay and by john keats john keats is one of the famous poet of the romantic he is romantic but he was romantic poet and died at the age of 25 years with tuberculosis okay and this poem a thing of beauty as a joy for ever is is an extract is taken out from and in your okay this epic this long poem and this poem was written in rhyming uh, written in rhyming couplets and i make pent pentameter i need to understand what is rhyming pentameter or heroic couplets 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 you know two lines with um, uh, two lines are there with the same rhyming scheme okay and in this poem we have basically we have got the idea that what is the thing of the beauty thing of beauty a thing of beauty is a joy forever it will never die but whatever the things we have with us that will go that are not permanent in this world so these things are not beautiful why because these things are not fulfilling the criteria of thing of beauty whatever the things are with you they are not fulfilling the criteria of beauty why because beautiful thing is a joy forever will give you forever forever joy so according to poet nature is beautiful sun moon daffodil flower okay uh, rivers and forest area so we will continue this poem in the next session okay i hope that you have got the idea please go through this poem poet imagines himself as shepherd okay and he was sitting on mount lekmos mount lekmos and suddenly he was enchanted with moon goddess cynthia moon goddess cynthia and then while searching her by searching moon goddess cynthia he has come to know that that this world is this world is not why because this world is giving us depression this world is giving us sad monotonous life but in this world some shape of beauty is there which beauty nature's beauty okay so please go through this poem and then we will start our stanza wise explanation thank you have a nice day